What up, what up, people? Montre Peace here. Uh, this is Thirst Tech Thursdays here. Uh, what we're going to do is give you guys tips and tricks and things that you can use for your educational experience. This is for teachers, students, parents, administrators, whoever needs it. If you have something that you need or something you want to see me do for you, just let me know. I'll figure it out. Um, but in the meantime, I'll just be dropping helpful things, you know, that I feel like, you know, can help you guys out. So let's jump right in here. Uh, it is testing season. So at the end of the day, I want to give you guys some resources that I used to use in the classroom for testing. So it's this resource called Leave Forward. I know a lot of people use it, especially if you're here in Texas, it's pretty popular. And if not, um, you need to get on it. It's pretty powerful and free. So you go to click on this resources tab. That's what I like about it. Um, this is one of my kind of go to's and what I use the most, I would say, is probably the IEQ. They do have some things in here for the academic vocabulary for the specific areas, which is very, very useful. We know that's an, uh, that's a struggle area for our, our, our students. So but the IAQ. So in light of test prep, one thing we know is that the kids need to get used to seeing how these questions are structured and the vocabulary that is used uh, to kind of ask the questions. So. With this tool, what it gives you access to is all the previous tests, but you don't have to go through there like we used to have scissors and having to cut up things and, you know, group all your teaks together. We don't have to do that by hand anymore. So what you can do is, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna do math fifth grade. Uh, and then there's three different options. You can do teak clusters, teak subclusters, and you can go student expectations. I'm gonna just go down the list real quick. So teak clusters, um, again, it it clusters your teaks, which is our state standards here in Texas. Um, so for instance, fractions, we know that's a big problem area for us. So you could select all of the teaks for fractions and then it breaks them down here. So you know if your students particularly struggled with 5.4a, you can click that or you can click them all. I'm gonna click them all for the sake of the video. And you also have the selection years from 2015 up until 2019. These are all the release tests that they have uh, issued. So you can select that uh, and then go ahead and submit all there too. And what this is gonna do is gonna generate a report. And what it did was go into all those tests and pull out those questions. Here's a breakdown of how each question is. I'm not gonna spend too much time there because I'm gonna talk about it with you. Uh, what we're and for instance, this question here, it gives you, this is a 5.3H question. It gives you the T, the expectation for the students here. It also tells you this was a 2019 question and that it was question number 15 on the test. Over here, you got your state standards. I mean, your state data, 70% got this right and they chose B. And then it told you the other ones, which can lead you to you know, as teachers, you can get your misconceptions. Where are the other hot areas that you need to hit and make sure that those students understand? So this is a pretty good one. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys in some later videos how to pull these guys out of here without actually physically cutting them with scissors. But uh, yeah, so that is on each question. So let's uh, jump back real quick. Again, I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna move down the list. I'm gonna show you the other two options that you can do. That is math. We'll stick with math fifth grade and keep it consistent. And then you got your teak subclusters here. And if I click on subclusters, it's the same whole group here, but then it breaks it down into which one. So like we were saying that fractions, fractions, but what about fractions? Multiplying fractions, they struggle with it. So let's go with they're struggling with it. Let's go. We'll go multiplying fractions and then we'll select all. And there you go. And I can continue to select all, or you can choose a particular year. You will notice that the question, how they word them, changes over the years. So that's something to pay attention to as you're kind of creating and using these, um, using this tool. Again, it breaks it down the same way, each question and all that good stuff. Again, I know it has the correct answers and stuff and on these guys. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that in, in future videos if you want to use uh, these questions. So again, let's go back. And the last one, this one's pretty interesting. I kind of like it, especially if you're here in Texas and you are a data person. Um, this can kind of help you. So student expectations, if you have your kids tracking their own data, they know which expectations or you know which expectations that they're not hitting where they need to be. So, you know, boom, I know they're there. 
here and here. These are the areas that my, my students are struggling. Boom, I go in here, select them all. And now I have plenty of practice problems for them to look at uh, for how these folks kind of word the test. Because at the end of the day, we know that too. It's kind of some tricky questions on here. I'm willing to admit some of the questions I have to read twice. So uh, students need that practice with the vocabulary. And then with each of these, you can always save as a PDF. So you don't have to keep recreating these guys over and over. So if you know you create one specific PDF for 5.4a standards, you can come in here and you can save this, download this guy, and save it as, you know, 5.4a standards in math or whatever you want to name it. I'm not going to name it. I don't need any more files. So that's a, I feel like that's a pretty cool tool for you guys to use. Again, in future video, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and just capture this with a screenshot and pull it into PowerPoint real quick and real fast. Um, so that'll be my next one for you guys. Uh, but again, I'm just here to help and here to service you guys in any capacity or anything that you need as far as ed tech skills and ed tech knowledge. Just let me know. If I don't know it, I, I'm pretty sure I got a friend who knows it. We can figure it out. So uh, check this out, though. And until the meantime, peace.